It is cold, man. It is really, really, really cold out here. Now I'm going to make sure this fire is going. I've got these extra flames here that I love. It's like wax and sawdust. One strike and those things go up really nicely. On a day like today, when it's this cold, that's exactly what you want right there. It's exactly what you want. a neck warmer from being around my nose. Standard stuff when you're in the north. Fifty degrees Celsius warmer 
inside my tent than it is outside. Still minus 30 outside, which is uh, minus 20 Fahrenheit. And inside the tent, it's uh, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, it, there's a huge difference and it feels great in there right now, I can tell you that. These bottles of water just lay them right there and within a couple of hours they should be good sitting right over the stove they're like rocks now listen and my uh everything is dry except this has a little bit of dampness left in it so let's leave it like that actually i'll leave it on the inside so that way if it falls it's not falling on the stove I can tell you guys right now that I am not too good for a canned meat sandwich. I eat tuna more than anything when it comes to like a canned meat. Um, and I would imagine tuna is probably the most popular canned meat out there. And I've got a can of cream of mushroom soup. Very basic, but super delicious with the sandwich on the side. And this is my late lunch today. So I'm really looking forward to eating this. So yeah, I'd love to hear from you guys about your favorite canned meat. <laughs> I know some people just stay away from it, but I love it. I've had click, I've had spam, I've had corned beef hash, I've had uh, flakes of ham, flakes of turkey, tuna, you name it. I would love to hear from you guys. If you're gonna have a can of meat sandwich, what kind of meat would it be? Yes, just as I remember it, super salty. And definitely has that, I've been in a can feel, and that's exactly what I want right now. Well, as you guys can see, I got a really decent pile of wood here now. And I'm just hoping that it'll last me the night. I'm not sure, it's quite a bit of wood and I haven't used too much yet. I've been here for a few hours, 
but I am going to be here for another 20 hours or so. So we'll see what happens. You can't beat this. You cannot beat being out in the wilderness in the brutal cold. It's minus 34 now outside. Wind chill minus 44, according to Environment Canada. I've got a bit of signal tonight on my phone and I just checked it. And minus 44 with the wind. So it's, uh, the, the wind gets you having a shelter when it's windy and cold is just crucial. It is critical. That wind will give you frostbite in no time at minus 44. Inside the tent, it is 30 degrees Celsius, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh yeah. Those bottles of water are melting really nicely here. A bit of ice left in the middle. Tonight I got a crazy signal. I can't believe it. I can actually watch a basketball game here at this place in my tent, which is crazy. Normally I have to go over to the corner to get any sort of signal. But here I am just watching the Raptors at the tent. Oh man, this is the best. It really is nice. Like it's freezing out there. And I get to watch my sports team for the next couple of hours. I'm going to start supper here in a bit. Let it cook slowly while I watch the game. Like, this is, this is amazing out here doing this. It's like minus 36, minus 37 outside. And, uh... It's dropping, and I want it to go below minus 40. That would be uh, very cold. I'm going to cook on my propane stove with my propane oven. So that way I can really control the temperature for supper. This, I mean, it's minus 37 outside right now. And this uh, should start should run propane because it's encased in snow so it's going to be actually be warmer than minus 37 down in below the snow because it's been buried and it's somewhat insulated down in there away from this cold air temperature coming through Oh my gosh, first shot. Wow. Looks like there's a lot of smoke coming off of this. Oh, we got something burning down there. I think it's grease from the last thing I had, maybe. Okay, I gotta open the door. That's too smoky. The temperature's gonna drop really hard now, but I gotta do it. It's too smoky. I'm gonna open the stove all the way up, crank it, and uh, let that compete. The temperature's already dropped five degrees just like that. 
with that door open. So I can see it, I'm watching it move. It is moving. Yeah, dropping fast. Not much left, it's just burning off. And uh, I'll close the door and I'll have this place hot in no time, I know it. But yeah, this is uh, a little bit unfortunate. Good thing I'm prepared. I've got lots of wood, I've got lots of layers. I'm determined to cook with this oven tonight. This tells you how cold it is. There is snow on this wood. And it's been in here for about three hours now. <laughs> and that's how cold it is on the floor of this tent. And at the top, it's like 80 degrees, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius. And at the bottom on the floor, it is freezing or below freezing. Yeah, crazy. The oven is now set at 350. I'm hoping I can balance it there and just let that slowly cook over the next hour or so. This is what cold sounds like. It is cold, man. It is really, really, really cold out here. It is nuts. Almost minus 40. And I'm, I'm loving it. I want it to be colder. Let's go. Let's see how cold we can get it. Check out this. My snowmobile. This is my seat. Like, should be nice and soft. Like that. That is not a comfortable ride right there. Back here is even harder, it's like rock. My snowmobile is cracking. Wow. It is dark and freezing. And you can definitely see my breath. Minus 39 feels like minus 48 uh, with the wind chill out there. So Fahrenheit, minus 38 and minus 54 with the wind chill so yeah man it's cold it's like it's excellent That cooked perfectly. I let it sit in there for maybe, I don't know, hour, hour and 20 minutes maybe. I love chicken thighs, especially with the skin on, because then they get all crispy. That's what the flavor is. So let's see what we have here. First, I'm gonna go with a bit of potato. And man, those potatoes crisped up like champions. Yes, I can tell already. 
This is going to be amazing. Wow. Gravy. Gravy. My phone just buzzed and I just got this extreme cold warning. And so, issued at 8.44 p.m. Friday, December 2nd, 2022. Extreme cold wind chill values of minus 50 are occurring this evening in some locations. Yeah, this location. Temperatures will moderate overnight. Extreme cold puts everyone at risk. Risks are greater for young children, older adults, people with chronic illnesses, people working or exercising outdoors, luckily I'm in my tent, and those without proper shelter. Yes, and I have that. So, watch out for cold-related symptoms, shortness of breath, chest pain, muscle pain, weakness, numbness, color change in fingers and toes. Dress warmly, dress in layers that you can remove if you get too warm. The outer layer should be wind resistant. Okay, hit minus 40, which is awesome. And you can see it's minus 41 Fahrenheit right now. Feels like minus 56 with the wind outside. It is really, really cold. I'm gonna split some wood so that way if my stove goes out overnight, which I pray it doesn't, I, uh, I'll have some splits, like some split wood ready to go. I don't think I'll ever let it go completely out. My body will wake me up if it gets too cold. But if I have some smaller pieces of wood as opposed to full logs, if I lay it in even on a small bed of coals with that stove, it'll just light up really fast. So I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a few of these for sure. And the wood, <laughs> I barely did anything to that. Oh yeah, it's, it's super duper fragile wood in these temps. It's just shattering. Too cold. Like it's falling apart. I definitely need to have more wood here. This isn't a, a nice enough supply for me. Like it's not even cracking, you know? It's like normally you hear wood split apart. <laughs> it's like, it touch it and it just, just like it bounces open. what I'll use if I get in trouble tonight. I'm gonna lay this stuff in front. Actually, no, I won't do that in case a spark comes out. I'll lay them in back like this. And this is what I'll grab just to get that fire ripping in the middle of the night. I do feel ready to go. I've got all this wood here. I've got wood in behind the stove. It's really toasty in the tent right now we're looking at 20 degrees uh celsius so that's like what 60 some odd fahrenheit and uh and so i'm i'm super comfortable like i'm comfortable and i'm happy and tonight is all about just being out in these elements i've been waiting for this since last year it's like minus 39 minus 40 episodes uh, i've been i just want it to be like this these are more in, these nights are more interesting to me growing up like the colder it was if i was out in the in the cold the brutal cold i'd be like that's a night to remember and even like uh my buddy chris back home i used to go to his cabin when i was living back in labrador there a few years ago seven or eight nine years ago and we'd go in like minus 50 minus 55 wind chills and long snowmobile rides like 36 kilometer snowmobile ride and uh and man i loved it I loved going into his cabin 
minus 35 inside the cabin, minus 40 inside the cabin, getting that stove going, it's just like something that I've just loved for a long period of time. So I, I, try, I try to do my best to get out. Like I've been watching the forecast for a while and when I saw that it was gonna be minus 37 on Friday, which is today, I booked the day off. I booked it off so I can come out here at noon and be in it. And so it's, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just what I love. It is what I love. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. By the way, I do have a carbon monoxide detector with me, just in case things go wrong overnight. So outside the tent, it's like minus 23 Celsius, which is about minus 10 Fahrenheit. And I actually think the snowmobile will start. Let's see. I'm gonna let that snowmobile warm up for a while. I got this new kettle you might have noticed. It's a coffee percolator, but I'm not gonna use that uh, element. I'm just gonna use it as like a kettle. And um, leaving it right here on the side, man, it stays hot for a long period of time. Like all day long, it'll just be ready to go, ready to pour, so I like that about it. But since the stove cooled down overnight a bit, I'm gonna put it here just to give it a bit of extra heat. But yeah, this is nice. I really like it and uh, just having it sitting there on the side tray and staying hot for the whole entire day ready to go is just really really nice. Pea bucket. I'm not going to go pee outside in the middle of the night. It's minus 40. I've got a beautiful bag of splits ready to go. When I get back. I'm just gonna organize it all. Big ones on top. When I come in, those go in the stove first. Lay my kindling on top of them. Then the splits go on top. Start the fire. Good. I've been on this oatmeal and tea kick for the last couple of weeks to start my day 
And that's a really nice, fresh way to start a day. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I had a wicked time. I hope you guys had a really good time too. It was awesome being out here last night when it was super cold. And uh, I had a comfortable sleep and just had a really nice time out here. The meals were delicious. And I can't wait to get back. I really can't. And I think this winter what I'll do is I'm going to, I have some RBM tents, some extreme cold camping tents that set up rather quickly. If you haven't seen them already, if you, uh, you're new to my channel, I've got these other tents that I use and, and, uh, they're, they're pretty awesome in the winter time. So I'm thinking I'll, I'll be, you know, peppering those throughout the season in some extreme cold conditions. Anybody who made it to this point in the video, by the way, thank you so much. Um, I say this every, you know, every once in a while on my videos that uh, it means a lot to have people stick around right to the end. And I know that a lot of people drop out when they watch YouTube videos. So if you made it this far, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm going to head out in this nice, lovely snowfall here in a minute. I'm going to finish my tea and my oatmeal and uh yeah go home and start thinking about the next video anyway thanks so much for watching everybody i'll be back really soon